Hello world! Welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge video. In this video, we're going to be doing simple BOF. Let's get into it. So this is a binary challenge and it's worth 10 points. Now, I will try to explain this the best I can, but I hate binary challenges. They are my least favorite challenge and I think I've said that in a video before, but ugh. But we're gonna do it anyways, because this one's not too bad. So, want to learn the hacker's secret? Try to smash this buffer. You need guidance? Look no further than to Mr. Live Overflow. He puts out nice videos. You should look if you haven't already. Okay, so that's the portal that we're going to be trying to buffer overflow essentially, right? And when there's binary challenges like this, they typically have some kind of server you can connect to and then you, the application is running on it and then you do whatever you need to do to that application. But they also give you a source file so you can actually figure out, okay, what do I need to do to exploit this binary? And then you pretty much can compile the source file on your machine and play around with it until you get something that kind of mimics what it would be like if you were to hack it on the live machine. And then you just take that exploit and you use it on the actual live machine. So I've already downloaded the file for our convenience. So I'll go ahead and crack that open in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we can take a look at it. But first, things first, let's actually take the portal and connect into it and see if there's anything like extra information we can glean from it so we can kind of look through the source file with a more focused eye, right? So, okay, so they give us a legend here and they give us a stack. And we're trying to smash the buffer, so this is probably an buffer overflow, I would imagine. So what we can do is we can simply just flood this with our typical A's. And we'll just put a bunch in and see what happens. Um, maybe you have overflowed too much. Try deleting a few characters. So you'll notice that the buffer, uh, it, you won't, you will never have it to where the challenge or anything in real life is never going to be the case where they have this stack printed out for you. It's something that you'll have to figure out on your own, but there's tools to help you figure it out. It's just in this case, they've kind of given us everything we need. So we don't have to do those extra steps because it is a beginner challenge, right? It's a beginner binary exploitation challenge. They want you to be able to learn how this works, right? How the stack works. So as you can see, this whole stack is overflowed with 41s, which is the hex a decimal equivalent to a capital A. So that is our A's, right? So yeah, this is a buffer overflow of some to some degree. And we can see in the legend that you have the buffer, right? The padding, okay, and that's just it's extra space in between things. The not secret, which is here, and then the secret. And so the secret is probably what we're gonna wanna modify, right? I'm not sure what not secret is yet, but we'll see, right? Oh, and I guess full bolded is correct secret, and that'll probably give us the flag, or it'll probably spit out the flag for us if we get that right, okay? So I'll go ahead and clear that so it's fresh, and let's go ahead and take a look at the source code here. I got pulled that up over here. Okay, so taking a quick look, we see a buffer right here, 32. So that's probably what we want to overflow. And then here's the not secret, and then here's the secret. Scrolling down, we'll say if secret equals this, then puts you did it, congratulations. Else if not secret, not equal to that. Maybe you have overflowed too much. That's the error message we got before. So if we overflow by too much, it'll it'll detect that. And else if secret not equal to deadbeat. Wow, you overflowed the secret value. Now try controlling the value of it. So if we successfully overflow the secret value and it's not equal to deadbeat, then we just need to know what value we need to set the secret to, right? And we know that we need to set the secret to this. And if you look, these are actually readable hexadecimal characters. So we can simply take that and go to a hex to decimal converter, or sorry, a hex to ASCII converter, and rapid tables will do just what we want. So we'll just put the hex input in and then convert, galf. Okay, so if you look, that reverse actually says flag. Now, why is it backwards? Well. In the stack, 
it reads values in or values are put onto the stack and read off in the stack in a process called LIFO, which is last in first out. So but whatever last value gets pushed to the stack is going to be the first value that gets popped from it or taken from it. So that's why they're checking to see if the secret is flag backwards, because if we put our overflow with our secret in, which will be normal, when it reads it, it's going to read it backwards. So it's going to read GALF and then all our A's when those get popped off the stack. Now, when it gets pushed onto the stack, it's going to be in its normal order. But when it gets popped from the stack again, it's going to be backwards from what it was. Knowing all that, all we need to do is, well, let's kind of, let's kind of play with it a little bit, right? So let's, let's connect back in and let's see what happens if we do 32 A's. Actually, we'll do something, something else first. We'll do that. And this will, this is just a simple command so that we can get our A's that we want. Now we'll connect back in and we'll paste that. And as you can see, now our buffer is filled with A's. So we want to fill it with enough A's to reach this point and then overflow these characters with flag, F-L-A-G. Okay, I mean, each row has eight bytes in it. So we already have our first 32 and it looks like that zero zero is also part of it. So it looks like it appends a null terminator to our input. So we may need to account for that as well. But anyways, we'll just focus on how many A's we actually need right now. We'll add in an extra byte if we need to. So that's another eight. So that's, you know, 32, 40, 48. So we need essentially 48 A's, 47, depending on the null terminate. So that's pretty easy. We'll go ahead and clear and we'll run this again. But instead with 32, we'll do 48. And then we'll just type in flag onto it, right? We'll pin flag to it as after we paste it in. So we'll need 48 and then we'll need FLAG. Remember when that gets read off the stack, it'll be backwards, it'll be GALF. If we had done GALF here instead, it would read it flag as appropriately, but we want it to read it in reverse because the source code is looking for flag in reverse. And that looks like it solved it. Here's the bolded characters that say that it is the correct secret. And you'll notice here in the stack, it is appropriately FLAG. Again, when it gets popped from the stack, it'll be read as 6761C66 or GALF. So here's our flag right here. Buffer overflows are cool. We'll go ahead and submit that. All right. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.